And we are here live at Home Depot, folks. What's up, everybody? Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, you know, I did that live stream earlier during lunch. I'll show you guys the update on our remodeling that we're doing at that tiny kitchen in our friend's house. So I decided to come in here. I have to pick up a few parts that we're going to need. When I came in here, I could see that they're making progress here in Home Depot in redoing that whole gift zone area. And if you remember, I did a live stream in here, I don't know, God, was it Sunday or something? Where they still had all of the BOGO deals, the, the Black Friday promos. Those have all been removed. They're gone. They are history there. What's up, Rowan? Welcome back for another one. And so I wanted to just kind of just briefly take a walk through here and then show you some new promos that are here for Q1 as well. And uh, Vic checked in and AT. What's up, guys? All right, so we've got a couple of new uh, Toro lawnmowers here. And then we got a... A Honda one here, the HRX. So they got this one here down at 629. And if I was you guys, I would kind of wait until maybe the actual promos kick in because I don't know if any of these things are going to drop right now. At this point, we just don't know. But there's some promos that are coming up for Q1, you know, very soon. So I want to show you this one right here. Uh, this was not here the other day when I did that live stream. So this is kind of brand new. But I, I showed you that other one with the M12 rocket light. And the Texas Typhoon says, hey, Jeff, greetings from San Antonio. I lived there for three years when I was a kid. Good Mexican food there. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So here's what we got. Now, so we get the 12-volt the brushless 6-inch. Uh, this is that hatchet thing, right? Now, we did a tool review video on this back in September, and I showed you me cutting a whole bunch of tree branches and stuff and palm fronds with this. So I'll put a link to that video down in the description when I get home so you can check it out. But when I bought it, it was this only. It was the tool only for $199. And I, of course, used my Lowe's coupon on it. I didn't pay full price. But this one is now they're giving you a kit. So for the extra $50, what they're giving you is the charger. And this is an XC 4.0. And I like, these. I like the fact that you're able to accumulate another XC battery. Because as you guys remember on the last stream in here when I showed you, um, we're in the middle of doing our tool review video on the M12 rocket light, and it's not lasting very long on the batteries. And so I, that's why I was recommending that on the rocket light, you get either the XC 4.0 or the XC 6.0 minimum battery. That's a minimum size battery you should use for that light. So it's good to be able to score another one of these for this kit. So $249. So basically for $50 extra, you're getting these two. Now, I forget what the price... I can't remember if this is normally like 99 on its own, that battery. I just can't remember the price. Hold on, let me adjust that guy back, back to where he belongs here. <laughs> and Nerdy Mr. A says, fixing kitchens and tool reviewing within hours. Yeah. And Marcus, back from Jamaica. Jamaica, man. Jamaican me crazy, man. Um, now, this one, do we have the blowers here? We do have the blowers here. And so it's $2.99 and you're getting a brushless kit, you're getting an XC 8.0 battery on this kit right here. And so that's $2.99. I like, I kind of like that because these by themselves are pretty pricey too, you know. Iron Worker Doug here. Hi, Jeff, Local 377. Hey, you should have, I don't know if you saw our earlier live stream, we showed you that cast iron uh, plumbing stack and that wall that we were doing that on that house built in 1945. It was actually surprisingly okay because at my other friend's house that was done in 1945, he had that cast iron pipe and it had holes in it. All right, so there's the blower. There's the, the hatchet, ratchet. That's what I call it, the, hat, the uh, little saw. And all right, so this Toro is 369 right here. And Scott says he got the old blower for a penny. Man. That must have been sitting there on the clearance counter for a while and then nobody bought it so it just kept dropping yeah i like to see deals like that we got a bunch of screws like that last year and let's see we got another note here from chris up the road in bama love the channel well thanks and we're one finally made it now these toros these are new so i don't know they don't have a price on them there's no signs on them so see they're still setting this whole area up that's that's what we're seeing here. So some of these don't have prices on it yet. They they did have a number of the Ryobi miter saws left over. 
And so what they did was, there's two models here right now. There's a seven and a quarter inch sliding miter that's still at 189. And, but the 10 inch one here is at 179. Okay. So you can choose your poison on those two. And what I'm surprised about here is that all of the, they had a whole full stack of all of the heaters here, the floor heaters. Um, so yeah, got a few cold days last week and the people came in and bought them all out. And we don't have any price on this here yet, the DeWalt, the 15 gallon. So if you guys have never seen one of these before, it comes with a little, <clears throat> the tray holder here. What I would like to see is I bought those yellow trays. I bought a shallow and a deep tray for my Tough System 2.0. I wonder if they would fit in these guys too. So that would be an interesting one to see. I'm, I like these because they snap easily. They close easily and big, nice handle there to open them up. But we don't have the price on them. Uh, what are we setting up here? I think all they're doing here is they're just bringing some of the stuff from the OPE aisle. I don't see any deals yet, but there might be. So that's why I'm saying wait till they get this stuff set up. <clears throat> might be another week or so before we start seeing if there's any changeovers. We don't know. Now we've got the FlexVolt kit here, and it looks like it's still that same price that it was at Black Friday here. $100 off. And Roger Rios checked in with a $2 super chat. He says, any deals on Makita leaf blowers? Local 630. They, they don't have any right now that I saw. Um, over Christmas break, they did have that deal that if you spent like $100, they were giving like a $20 rebate. Um, let me see. They're setting some up right over here. Let me check in a second. Um, I don't know if they still have that refund. A lot of people didn't know that they, they had that rebate going with, with Makita where there was like over 200 tools that if if you bought a few of them and that and it totaled over a hundred dollars you got like twenty dollars back so that was essentially like a twenty percent off deal <clears throat> so this one is the flex volt advantage i have this drill now because i bought it in its own kit and this is paired with the dcf 887 now this is not a flex volt advantage so just remember you know you're seeing the big you know advertising on the box but just keep in mind they don't have an impact driver yet that's flexible. All they have is the, the hammer drill. They got the search saw, I believe the multi-tool and the grinder. I think those are the four tools that they have right now. And then oh, this kit is back. So here you're getting, getting the weed whacker and you're getting the blower here in the kit for $299. So I don't know if this is like the price or if they're just bringing stuff over here or if anything's going to be in Q1. We simply don't know yet. Uh, we got, um, they got Shaka Gillis' favorite stuff set up right here. And Lord Hogg sends a $4.99 super chat. And thank you so much. And he says, going to replace carpet for wood flooring. First time doing something like this. But molding is glued to the drywall. Oh, what is the best way to take them off? We have a video on that lord hog we have a video on that that we put up about two years ago but essentially you got to take your utility knife and cut along the top of the drywall where the the uh it's usually caulk that's all it is that they put on there and you just cut that first and then you can use any kind of prying thing to just you know pry it away without digging into the drywall and killing the drywall but yeah we have a whole video on that all right, so here's the blower. They got a blower here from Makita that's 129. So this is the LXT brushless tool only. There's no kit or anything. So I'm surprised they didn't do like what M Milwaukee did over there and, and give you with a kit. So you would pretty much already have to be in the platform here if you, you know, so if you don't already have a battery, that means you're going to be buying batteries. So yeah, this is really for people that's already in the platform. And you know, with any of these blowers, you really want to make sure you're getting a high capacity battery. Don't mess around with these little, you know, two, three amp hour batteries because they're not going to last very long on these at all. Now, they've also got the kit here with the weed whacker as well. So they got 459 CFM on this blower. Okay. And it's the two piece combo kit. Let me see if it comes with a comes with one four amp hour battery right there and there's your charger okay so here's that kit number right there 
Yeah, Michael Ian says, Pex is much easier. Yep. The only problem is that there's just copper all over the place in that house that we're doing right now. Um, they've piled up a lot of the Ryobis. The pressure washers here. This one here, I might get this guy. Because 99 bucks, I'm, I don't expect it to do much. What I expect this thing uh, to use this for is washing my car, our cars. Because now that we bought that new SUV, which I'll post later on for you guys on the community page, that Lexus, it was a GX470. It was a 2019 that we got, and it only had 8,000 miles on it. But with this, what you do is this washes the car, you know, just puts a lot more water and pressure on the car. But you hook a soap cannon up to it. They're better than the soap gun. The soap cannon actually shoots the foam so thick that it, like, sticks to the car and thick like like snow and it looks like shaving cream. So it's a lot different. If you've ever seen any Pan the Organizer's videos, he uses a similar thing. Most of the professional guys use a soap cannon, not a soap gun. I have a soap gun that I have on the end of my regular garden hose, and it does a good job. I and mean, it shoots a good amount of foam all over the place, but it, it just kind of runs down the car a little bit, you know. So, but the soap cannons need the high pressure like this. I think 1500 is like the minimum on some of them. So that's what you need to get that real thick, thick foam. And a lot of the guys that do car washing too, like the real, you know, enthusiasts and the, and the pros, they'll have a filtration system on the outside by their hose just so you don't get all of that, that, um, all the materials and stuff in there. This one, I don't think I've seen before. This is a 2000 PSI with 1.2 gallons per minute. And then here's the big one. So this one's a gas one. And by the way, guys, on the Ryobis, if you ever buy a Ryobi one, only buy the one that has a Honda engine. I think there is one. I think I remembered seeing it last summer. I would not buy any other engine that's not a Honda engine. That would That's the only thing, in my opinion, that would legitimize getting the Ryobi. Otherwise, you better be buying a DeWalt or a, a Honda uh, pressure cleaner there, okay? So just keep that in mind. And we can see here our screwdriver kit, or the, you know, the two, two combo kit with the the drill driver and the impact. This has dwindled down from what I was looking at last time I was in here about, what was it, four or five days ago? So these are 119, and you get, is it two batteries? You get two 1.5 amp hour batteries with this kit. So there's your kit number right here, model number right there. M12s, very small, very light. Um, what else have we got left here? You know, I came in also looking for some N95 masks with the valves on the front for doing drywall sanding. I can't even get those anymore. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I have, like, two left, and I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I might have to just pile up on my uh, fabric ones. So they still have this deal going on, the, the six-tool combo kit. This is the one that's $199. It says was $299 there. And Lord Hawk says, when putting on new molding, what is the best way to put it on? Glue, nails, other? No, I use the brad nails. And you want to make sure your brad nails aren't too big because you got half inch thick baseboard, you got half inch thick drywall, so there's one inch, and maybe another half inch. You know, half, uh, one and a half to two inch nails is all I use because you got to worry about pipes. One time we shot a brad nail through our baseboard. And it hit a pipe and it caused a leak. So we had to like snip out, we had to cut open the wall, you know, do a repair on that pipe and then patch it all back up because the builder ran the pipe within two inches of the floor. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, all the pipes should be like several inches up, you know. And let's see. Did I see something coming from Stan? Yeah, just saw somebody in Yeah, yeah, Florida is nice. It's actually pretty warm today. It was chilly when I left the house this morning, so I wore a long sleeve short, and it ended up being a little warm when I was working at that um, thing there this morning doing that remodel. Uh, let's see. I thought I saw something from Stan. Maybe not. I was trying to wait. Wait. So he said, "Did you look at the email I sent you with the new Milwaukee Q1 promos?" Uh, I saw something. You sent me a couple of things over the last couple of days, but this is the promo that we just showed. So there's the one with the the saw kit. So I already own that one. 
as the tool only version and I got enough batteries I'm okay I don't need that the blower I still think that blower is expensive I know they're giving you an 8.0 battery but man you guys let me know if you think that's a good deal or not this one so that's the M18 blower fuel so it's brushless with an 8 amp hour battery and a charger let me know if you think that is a good price so they got these Huskies here. This is the 46 inch nine drawer and it's 348. I don't know if it's gonna drop any lower in price or not. So, and then, okay, so these, I know a lot of you are telling me that these are ringing up at like $79 or $83 in your store. So I had the guy scan in here and it was 99. And I said, oh man, you know, the other stores were doing it for like 79. So we went up to the cashier and they, they gave me 15 bucks off. So I just got this a few minutes ago, brought it out to my car, came back in. So I got this for about $84, I think it was, yeah. And so yeah, this is the kit. So this comes with a battery and a charger, whereas normally the tool only is 79 by itself. Can you hack the saw? Let me see. No, I don't think you can because the battery comes in the box. See, it's not like it's not like some of the other deals, like the Brad nailer, like the Milwaukee Brad nailer, where you would buy it and it's separate. I believe the battery is in this box. See, this is a new kit right here. This is how it comes. This is much bigger. The box I have is like this, right? And so there's the, the tool, it comes with the battery and the charger. I don't think you can hack this. The only thing you could probably do if you wanted was just put the battery up for sale on, on eBay there. Yeah, so it's a brand new kit there. And Cool Tools is back again from the UK, still locked down. Man, I hope they release you guys soon, man. You guys must be going stir crazy. And I'm assuming they're still gonna be charging uh, $79 for this sprayer. This one, like everybody and their mother was trying to get their hands on this thing last summer. And we did a tool review on this in the heart. And by the way, mine, um, there's something wrong with my trigger, so I'm going to try to take mine apart and see if I can fix it. Now, this is a new kit here that I have not seen here from Ryobi before. And I don't see a price on it. I don't know what they're getting for this one. So maybe somebody can look it up. Let me see if we get a P number off of it. Well, find one where they didn't put the cover everything up with the stickers. Let's see, where is it? Gotta remember, my eyes are very dry right now, so I can't even see the model numbers on it. Anyway, there you go. It's called the 18 volt power cleaner chemical nozzle kit. So this looks like it's a new accessory kit that adds on to your pressure thing. I might get one of these and test them out see that because you can and we're going to do a video that shows you some of the hacks you see what they're doing here see how they're using a two liter bottle attached onto their sprayer with a with an adapter i wonder if that adapter is in this box because i bought a works adapter that i already have that will plug on to the ryobi and it plugs onto the heart because they're both made by the same company see so, what is the SKU number? It says the oh wait, is the P number here. I don't see. You know, I'm looking everywhere. I don't see the P number. There's no SKU number for Home Depot. Let me see if it's on the big box here. That's a plain cardboard box. All right, this might be it. Right there. Try that one. One zero zero five zero nine five six four two. It's called Spring Power Merch. It may or may not show up yet either. That's the other thing. And I'm really surprised that I don't... I'm kind of looking all over the box. And I don't see... Usually their model numbers begin with P. Right? Oh. Wait a minute. Is, do you think that's the skew on it right there? That might be it too? That is the same. That's not... It's not the same number. All right, so it says 4997. Hey, John just checked it. What's up, John? All right, so, yeah. So, wow, 50 bucks? That's a lot. This, well, so here's what it comes with. Look, all these different adapters and things. Now, what I did on mine, guys, was, you know how this has this quick release? 
but it's not like your standard the metal pressure washer quick releases that we're normally seeing this is kind of like that other size i think they use this a lot in europe and it's plastic so i i on them on mine i unscrewed this and i put a real metal one in there that now converts it to the correct size so i can do quick release when i'm washing my car i have the quick release between this and the soap gun everything's all steam now you know there you go 49.97 man that thing's a lot of money that better be a good kit for that kind of money so they're starting to bring out some ceiling fans too so if any of you were were looking for ceiling fan deals i i'm gonna assume that this is going to be the the, the current pricing on these so you have from some from 119 139 and 149 what I always tell people is <clears throat> make sure that it either comes, I don't know if this one comes with the bulbs or not. I actually prefer it when the canopy has the chips of LEDs lined up all around it. That you never have to mess with light bulbs ever. And you want one that comes with, <clears throat> okay, so here it is, it's included. So I like that. You also want one that comes with a remote. Because it really, you're going to find sometimes um, complications in the wiring in your house that won't allow the the thing to to turn on and off properly and so i always try to buy the ones that have the remote and look from the remote here you can change the color temperature of the light so they're getting smarter and better the features on their lights i really really like this one here guys um <clears throat> i put up like four of these in my friend's house last year very similar it didn't i don't think it had the color changing but it certainly had the remote and having that remote is the best thing in the world because sometimes trying to put up a ceiling fan and buying a remote after like over on the on the lighting aisle there those remotes often are a nightmare to fit but if you buy the one that that's made for and ships with your fan they go a lot smoother it's a much much better transaction for you you will be much happier so they're down to their last nine gallon one these were selling like hotcakes I think they were like 53 bucks <clears throat> during the good old Black Friday. And <clears throat> we still got these here from Rigid. These are still down to $3.99. Right there. And so keep in mind, they're still bringing in the promos. I mean, that's the first one that I saw over there. We got another promo here that... I tried to run this SKU number in, and it didn't tell me what it is. But all I know is, is it starts on the 14th, so it's, that's tomorrow. See? And I don't know what SKU that is. You guys can try entering that SKU and see what you get on there, but <clears throat> we just don't know what that is. But I, you can bet I'll be back in here tomorrow. And wait a minute, did I just see a 139 price on those? Is that right? The two tool kit? I think, wasn't this like $199 when the kit came out last summer? Do you guys remember that? I thought these were $199. So, uh, what's up, Rhonda slash Max? I thought you had your own account now. What's up with that? Uh, no deals here. And our store doesn't carry the FlexVolt version of this, so I have to go find mine still. I still haven't bought it yet. But I'm going to have to buy it soon because I think I'm going to be using it at, at my friend's house where we're doing the that tiny kitchen remodel that I showed you guys. Hey, if you missed my live stream earlier today, you got to go check that out. As well as the one we did the other day. So let's see if they... looks like they got in some new FlexVolt. So here's the other four... The remaining four of the FlexVolt tools that I told you about. So you got the, the Sawzall here. You got the grinder and I'm going to be using this I already have this because it came in that six tool kit that we bought for Black Friday so we're going to be using this one the grinder the FlexVolt Advantage grinder over there and I don't see this yeah they got the saw here and they brought in a few more of these lights still 229 this is a, a pretty cool little kit I, I, uh, I can't remember if we gave one of these away back in December or not I remember buying one up at the Boca store. And John says, checking in from Texas. You're missing on Lowe's clearance. Well, I'm going to be hitting Lowe's on the way home. And just like, as soon as I'm down here, like five minutes, I'm going to be getting over to, to Lowe's. 
So I want to make sure we kind of wrap this up soon. I just wanted to show you this other Milwaukee in case you guys missed it. This is another one that's coming up. And this one looks like it's going to start on February 1st. <clears throat> so if you remember, I showed you that currently right now, the M12 Rocket Light is $129. This light right here in this box, $129, down from $169. And I believe this deal is going to end because it looks like that on February 1st, it's going to revert back to the full price of $169, but you get a free XC 6.0 battery. And remember, I told you earlier, the minimum batteries you want running on this light because it sucks the life out of these m12s is a xc 4.0 or xc 6.0 now the testing i just completed last week the xc 6.0 lasts about four hours and the xc 4.0 lasts about i think it was about three hours so that gives you an idea if you were planning on using this all day on your job site you're probably going to need two or three X, xc 6.0s so just to let you know, and I think on like the smaller CP 2.0s, I think it lasted like an hour and a half, or two hours at the very most. Yeah. Wow, the Craftsman blowers are ringing in at 10.99. Is that the one that was marked down to like 40 bucks or something like that? I think I showed that on the live stream the other day, John. I think that might be the one we were talking about. Okay. So you see what this deal is going to revert to on, on February 1st. So you have to decide which, which deal do you want to go with. Um, I think, do you want to pay $129 or do you want to pay $40 bucks more and get a battery that I think this battery is like $129. I forget. I just can't remember. The, I, I try not to memorize the prices of all the batteries, right? And then on the clearance... Um, not much here. You know, we had some of those Milwaukee tools over here that disappeared already. So I don't know if they plummeted yet or not. I see one right here. I see another Milwaukee tool deal right here. What is this guy? I'm going to have somebody scan this because if this is a good deal, I might get this for our giveaway. So this is the M18 Compact Rushless Impact Driver Kit. So, this one does come with a battery. But see, there's no price on this guy right now, so I don't know. I'm going to have to find an employee and have them scan this for me. And if, you'll know. I'll post it later if we got it. We'll let you know on that, how the price went on this guy. 119 for the M12, says Warmonger. So, this one here, SKU number, yeah. You have a price on that, Michael, on that SKU number? Now, it may be different because if it's clearance, sometimes they'll show full price online, but then when you come in and actually actually have an employee with a scanner, a real scanner, scan it, that's when you see it different. We saw that with the with the gunmetal sets that I've been showing you at Lowe's for the last couple of weeks that people were saying, oh, I didn't go in to get it because it said 100 and whatever, or it said 79 online. I'm like, no, dude, you got to go into the store. And you got to fetch it because I was standing in the store and scanned in that gunmetal into the Lowe's app and it still showed 79. And then I found an employee and scanned it and it came in at like 47. You see this blade right here? This thing has been here for like almost two years. Just nobody has bought it. All right. So Michael says that this is down to, to 99 bucks. You think that's worth it at 99 bucks? Let me know, guys. Maybe I'll get it. Who knows? And keep in mind, too, I still have my Lowe's coupons with me. Get an extra 10% off on it. Um, here, all they did was just move the DeWalt, um, the Atomics over to here, and the, the tool kit, the little uh, kits. And did they jack the price back up on this guy? I don't know. I don't know if these went back up. These were down to 79 These are the 18-gauge Brad Nailers pneumatic so uh let's see now shaka gillis just checked in with a two dollar super chat and shaka says now this is surprising because he's never actually said this before right Ryobi's trash oh shaka you missed all of the whole ryobi that we uh, covered a few minutes ago um lots of good green over there some new green and we're seeing green with some of the new pricing that, that looks kind of expensive for a couple of those accessory kits over there. But yeah, I'm going to have somebody scan this puppy and just see how much it is. I think this might be, might be a nice candidate for 
school giveaway. We still have to do one this month. We are going to do one, guys. I just needed a little more time to gather. I have so many tools and stuff that we bought, and a lot of those AWP, um, like the tool belts and stuff like that. Look at this, Shaka. They made this just for you, buddy. It's your sea of green. Look at this. You can't escape it. And you know what else I know? Over on the OPE aisle, guys, it's like DeWalt and Milwaukee and Makita used to be at the front of the aisle. They now pushed them all the way down to the very end of the OPE aisle on the other side of the store. And like the first three quarters of the aisle is all Ryobi. It's all of their blowers and stuff. So they basically just duplicated everything right here, you know. But yeah, that's what they did over there. Everything, the whole aisle was like Ryobi. And and it was like, what? I was like in shock. You mean DeWalt and Milwaukee and Bikita were like relegated at the very end. Okay, and now um, I wanted to just repeat the warning that I told you guys last week about this mower here, the DeWalt mower. Make sure you don't buy the wrong one because you're going to walk in here and go, oh, the, the cordless mower, yeah, let me buy it. And then you're going to not notice that word right there that it's a push. It's not a self-propelled. So make sure you buy the right model number. So this one is the model with the 233. And I believe I believe it's a 244 is the newer one. I, I just can't remember it, but you'll see it. Now, I did have a couple of people tell me they had both in their store. So that's good if you can score the other one. The other one's $100 more. This one's $399. It's supposedly $100 off right now. And the other one is $499 for the self-propelled. And I believe it's supposedly $100 off like it's normally $5.99. And do they still have that sale, alleged sale price on the... Oh, yeah, this one here. Here it is. So this Ryobi here was $4.99 and it's marked down to $4.49. This, I think, was $3.99 at some point back before Black Friday. But it's like, why would you, why would you want this when you can get the DeWalt? Now, I haven't tested the DeWalt. I haven't looked at any reviews yet. I don't know how good that one is. But, of course, this one is self-propelled. It is brushless. So, you're talking this one is $50 less than the <clears throat> the other one from DeWalt, which would be $4.99. So, you have to decide, hey, which, which route do I want to go there with that? Okay. So, this is what it, this, this kind of gives you a good heads up of what it's going to look like in this section. This was the area that was all that tool gift zone. Remember at Black Friday? Aisle after aisle of all of that stuff. Whatever was left, they kind of moved a lot of it to the very back of the store. You're back over there in that back aisle, which I think is foolish. If you want people to buy it, you want to put it right here where it's going to be right in their minds, you know. But I guess they're probably going to be bringing in more stuff here, more promos. All right, so anyway, I just wanted to thank you guys for joining us here this afternoon. And here's a quick look again of what, what all is being moved around up here. And I'm going to leave you with this look here of the Milwaukee promo. And hopefully we get more in tomorrow. This is just the first one that they just first now got in here. And so there you have it there. The M12. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you about this M12 saw, the battery a little tight getting them out of there i had a little bit of a have to kind of wiggle it and jerk it around a little and get them to come out you know so that's that's the other thing i wanted to warn you about i'm kind of getting fed up with some of these m12 tools uh, with the batteries doing that all right guys so anyway we'll see you all on the next one have a great productive day and stay safe y'all we'll see you bye